healthy and safe day, my dear students. I am Teacher B, your PE teacher for today. Nice to meet you all, and I wish you are all fit, fine, and safe at your home. This is Physical Education Center. In today's lesson, you will learn to identify and describe the physical fitness and to determine how SMART goal or S, M, A, R, T goal helps you to push further, gives you a sense of direction, helps you organize and reach your goals. I believe you know what this physical fitness means. Now, let's have a recap about what is fitness. Physical fitness is a measure of the body's ability to complete activities for everyday life effectively and efficiently. In addition, physical fitness includes health-related fitness and skill-related fitness. Health-related fitness is your ability to become and stay physically healthy. The five components are body composition, flexibility, cardiovascular endurance, muscular strength, and muscular endurance. While skill-related fitness is the ability to maintain high levels of performance in the playing field, this includes the six components, namely speed, power, agility, reaction time, coordination, and balance. Before I will introduce our new lesson, I want you to identify the different components and tests of physical fitness, where questions and choices are flashed on the screen. Let's start number one question. It is a set of measure to determine the level of physical fitness. Very good. The answer is physical fitness test. Number two question. It refers to the maintenance of equilibrium while stationary or while moving. Correct. The answer is balance. Number three question. It refers to the proportion of lean body mass to fat body mass. Good job! The answer is body composition. Since physical fitness test is not new to you, may I introduce the Park QNU form found in your module on page 3. The Park QNU form determines the level of your fitness. Now, are you ready for our next lesson? So these are the most essential learning competency for today's lesson. Number one, set goals based on assessment result. Number two, undertakes physical activity and physical assessment. My dear learners, let's move forward. Ready, set, go! Physical fitness. Physical fitness is the ability of the muscles to function effectively and efficiently without undue fatigue in work and daily activities. According to Dr. Aparicio H. Mackey, physical fitness is not an end in itself. It is a part of the process to create educated Filipino citizenry that is accurately aware of the importance of holistic wellness, fitness of body, mind, and spirit. A physical fitness test is a set of measure to design and to determine a student's level of physical fitness. These are the factors to be considered for you to be fit. Number one, ability to perform daily activity without getting tired or fatigue. For example, walking, shopping, and going to market. Number two, recreational activity. Having a personal time to do activities that an individual loves to do in spare time after doing their normal daily routine, like reading books, listening to music, and playing with your favorite sports. Now, what are the physical fitness protocol? Number one, prepare the following testing paraphernalia, namely first aid kit, drinking water, and scorecard. Number two, see to eat the testing station are free from obstructions. Number three, wear appropriate attire. And number four, conduct warm-up and cool down. After considering health protocols, it's important to set your goal. In setting your goal, it will help you to accomplish what you want to be in the future. For you to be able to know more things about setting your goal, we need to define first the following terms. What is short-term goal? Short-term goal is a plan that requires a limited amount of time. 
For example, walking for 10 minutes when needed. What is long-term goal? Long-term goal are the things you wanted to become in the future and require ample time for planning. For example, walking, jogging, every day for six months to have a healthy lifestyle. Now, what are the things to be considered in setting your goals? Are you familiar with the acronym S, M, A, R, T, or the SMART goal? For you to be able to know what they stands for, let's do a wordplay. So how do I make sure that my goals will help me to improve my performance and fitness? Number one, S. S stands for specific, meaning to say what exactly you want to achieve or accomplish. Number two, M. M stands for measurable. It means you need to write down amount of time, days, other measurable factor to reach your goal. Number three, Letter A. A stands for achievable. It means your goal must be attainable and reachable. And in order to attain your goal, you need to ask yourself, how are you going to make it happen? Number four, R. R stands for relevant. It means, is your goal worthwhile? Therefore, you need to ensure that your goal is relevant. Number five, T. T stands for trackable. It means it helps you to set a deadline to meet your goal. All in all, one of the best ways to get stay physically active is to set your goal. And the most effective goals are based on the SMART goal, wherein it must be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and trackable. Before we proceed to the next part of our lesson, let's have the activity one entitled Fit for Life. Based from your prior knowledge, I want you to identify that statement if it is fact or a flaw. Number one, skipping meals will help you to lose weight. Is it a fact or a flaw? Number two, a balanced diet and regular exercise need to be together to become fit. Number three, no pain, no gain. Number four, drink more water to have a healthy skin. And number five, less sleep will cause stress. Now, let's reveal the answers. Number one, the answer is flaw. Because skipping meals is not an effective weight loss strategy. And it's behavior that can lead to overeating. Instead, do a balanced diet and eat healthful snacks. Number two, a balanced diet and regular exercise need to be together to become fit. Number three, the answer is flaw. Because in terms of having workout, according to Williams, you don't have pain to get results. And there's a difference between discomfort and pain. And oftentimes, pain is a symptom of more than a hard workout, which indicates an injury. Number four, the answer is fact. Because drinking water at least 8 glasses a day will help read and skin toxins. Number 5, the answer is fat. Because the sleep and mood are closely connected. Poor and inadequate sleep cannot enhance well-being. Let's have a recap everything what you have learned in today's lesson. Fitness. Fitness is the condition of being physically fit and healthy. Total physical fitness include health-related fitness and skill-related fitness, and each of these has different components. In addition, setting our fitness goal, we need to use the SMART acronym, which stands Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Trackable. Thank you for being with me in this lesson. Next is the execution and administration of physical fitness tests. I am teacher Bina Tividad. Goodbye!